hi, I'm Deborah Myberg and I'm with Matteo Sardagna with Ainaudi and you're part of the, one of the grandsons of the Ainaudi dynasty. Yes. And uh, you produce the wine from Barolo, so maybe you could first tell me a little bit about the uh, location and your favorite sites. Okay. So uh, Barolo is so, uh, so wide and complex area. It's like, uh, for me, it's like an orchestra. Uh, to make a uh, comparison, so uh, where uh, you can uh, have different uh, sound, uh, so each hill uh, sound and tell a different story. So I think uh, this is a, a nice uh, so a metaphor <laughs> to introduce the Barolo, because Barolo once was called Barolo and, uh, many years ago. Now I'm uh, coming out all the diversity that we have inside of the, the 11 village. And so, what I like more probably is my flagship, that is Barolo Canubi. Also because I start to be my favorite wines, the region are Burgundy. <laughs> in general, if I have to choose a region in the world. And the second is Barolo. But probably I'm making advertising for French, but because Burgundy is great. And I think Barolo is similar in a, in a way. And in particular, Barolo Canubi is uh, one of the more elegant tools for this uh, specific, uh, uh, unique uh, soil that uh, we have there, that is mostly, is mostly, and the percentage of uh, sand higher than the other place. More sand, and that makes that you have a natural draining, so, and uh, the finest Finest tannins, uh, uh, the result. Of natural draining, that means that you have uh, usually a very uh, nice ripening. So it's, it's beautiful to run this, to this vineyard because you have always a very nice result, even in a worst vintage, cold vintage. But, uh, usually you have uh, maybe one week before you can uh, even uh, you can uh, go to, uh, harvest before. And I have this uh, uh, elegance. Uh, with this note that I like very much of balsamic notes like eucalypto, eucalyptus, I don't know in English, minty, fresh, uh, and also fruit, so at different layers. And this uh, finesse uh, of the of the tennis. How big so, is Canubi? How, how large? In total, it's difficult to say because there are Canubi, Canubi, Canubi San Massa, Canubi San Lorenzo, okay. you know, Canubi Boskis. Okay, but the Canubi, we are in the heart. <laughs> the heart of Canubi, <laughs> how large is that? Ah, I can say, I'm not exactly sure, around uh, 15, uh, 17 uh, hectares uh, of the heart. Uh, then uh, it's bigger. And we own uh, 2.4 hectares in, uh, in the, in the, in the the center of the Canubi and is a beautiful, beautiful vineyard also because now I have, uh, we, have, is, is, we have different vineyards inside, different age from 60 to 20 and uh, so the results are uh, great and now, no. Okay. Do you think the future of Barolo is more focused on the crew? and development of the personality of the site? The, 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 here there is a big, big question. And uh, I, for both sides uh, are right in a way. So the people that make Barolo, coming from several as a, as a blend, and for some way you can do a better wine. But in my opinion, to, uh, to make this orchestra runs, you have to, you, you have to, you, you, I, I like the diversity. Yes, i solisti in italiano. And it's nice to have a diversity if you make, yes, just a blend, you make blending, you, you adjust the wine, maybe one year, can be slower, the other is better, in a longer, so and mixing you uh, make an, an, an average and good wines. Uh, but I like the diversity, and so my idea with the time for my my winery is to add uh, and to create like a, a chateau, like in, in Burgundy, with many many crew. Now I finalize, finalize to acquire a, a nice piece in Bussia, Monforte, and then we have other in Barolo Costa Grimaldi called Eterlo, that is always in the village of Barolo, 
e maybe in the future in Sierra Lunga La Morra I would like to have another piece of convenience to make the orchestra moving in my winery <laughs> and also because I'm passionate with Nebbiolo so I, I like to work with them. What is the biggest challenge for you working with this variety? The biggest challenge uh, is always uh, something uh, to find the uh, details, to, to, to try to, to make this uh, vineyard come out from the bottle in a better way. So in, in the challenge now, not big challenge, is we are reducing uh, and from 2014 vintage we eliminate the barrique and we are going back to the large cask because I think the modernity stay not in the device where you put the wine but in the, in, in the way of vinification and in particular in the way you manage the vineyards. So now we are also doing, we are teaching to the farmer uh, make a, like a school before they come to us to, to, to learn them to how to crown, how to do all the works in a better way because this is the most important thing, to uh, interpret the vines because each vine, each age of the vines have different uh, uh, vitality so, and you have to crown in a different way. So this is uh, very important and this is the challenge, how to uh, find the best way to uh, found that the balance in the way. You, think, uh, you have to find balance. So you have a certain number of leaves, like a pulmonic breed, yeah. you know? and you, have to, you, can, you can support a certain amount of fruit. The leaves grapes. are the lungs, yes. Uh, yeah. So uh, you have to find this balance. Because if you make a lower and lower uh, quantity, I don't think you make a, a good result. You make yeah. stress to overripe. If you do in the opposite, to green. So, there is the challenge. Find and, balance. And for 2012, how was that balance? I think it was uh, a, a, a nice vintage. Probably we have 2010 was the best. 11 was pretty warm, enjoyable, accessible. 12 I would position in, in between, in the between. Between a, a classic vintage like a 10 and a more approachable uh, 11. So it's a wine that you can enjoy, but still young. Uh, not maybe as serious as a 10, but very nice, very nice, very elegant. And tell me, Matteo, what do you think of the next for Hong Kong this year? The I mean, next is a great opportunity. I used to come uh, twice a year in Asia, in China, Hong Kong, and Asia in general. And uh, for sure, it's uh, the promising market for many producers, we still are uh, lost, but we have to, we have to find uh, the, the, the correct uh, road and the next one is the solution to find the street. <laughs> well, good. Okay. I wish you every success with the show and with these wines, I'm sure you'll have Thank it. You. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sir.